Why should you consider taking improv classes to improve your speaking? The answer to that question can be found in the next several daily doses of Public Speaking Wisdom. This weekend, I just wrapped up a six-week improv course. It was, it's called Level One. It's an intro to improv. What I've learned are several ideas that can help you as a speaker. And over the next five videos, I'm going to share some insights with you. Today, you'll discover the fundamental rule of improv, which is called Yes And. Yes And is a fundamental concept because it builds scenes in improv. It's based on the idea of accepting whatever your scene partner says to you and building upon it. Nothing can kill an improv scene faster than the words no or but or anything that's negative like that. Improv is an art form where you can be as creative as possible. There literally are no boundaries. Yeah, depending on the audience, you may want to keep it more G-rated, but other than that, no boundaries. Because of that, you never know where a scene will go, and this is why yes and is so important. For example, if I'm part of a scene and my partner comes up to me and says something like, hey, what's with the big nose? Well, I don't normally have, a, I have an ordinary size nose. In day-to-day -day conversation, I might say, what do you mean? I don't have a big nose, or what are you talking about? What are you insulting me? Something negative like that. In improv, you've got to go with it, build upon it, and then pass it back to your partner. There are dozens of directions I could go with that line. I might say, yeah, my dad was Pinocchio. Or, yeah, I just got into a huge bar fight. Or, so glad you can enjoy the shade that it's creating on this sunny day. There are literally no boundaries of where you can go with the yes and concept. Now, how does this help you as a speaker? It helps you to be more creative when you're coming up with ideas for your speeches. One of the biggest challenges I see is people shoot down their own ideas before they even get started. Remember, when you're creating a speech, you've got to get as many ideas out there as possible. Write them all down or put them on a computer spreadsheet, whatever you do, and then begin to sift through those to find the gold. Don't limit yourself. Be creative. If you're working with a partner or getting some ideas, try this yes and concept. No idea should be shot down. You get an idea, say yes and, and then build upon it. Use this technique and you will be amazed at what comes out of you. Tomorrow you'll hear about the value of improv to help you get out of your own head. Talk to you then.